Hi, we just created our list view and our detail view for our meals. Now you can see all kind of meals. Let's make sure that the server is running. And you can also open any meal and see the more details about this meal. And this is the perfect time that we add our front end to this website. So I searched Google for free restaurant templates so that we don't take much time creating a new template from scratch and so on. And in the real life, if you are doing this in the real life, you should build a template from scratch using your front end skills or ask anyone on the freelancer websites to develop this front end site for you or you can buy a new template from this site which I'll show you or from Innovates or, or ask someone on the freelancer websites to develop this site for you first I searched Google for restaurant free templates I, I opened this site color lab okay you can buy this template from this site or you can use it with their permissions like you you cannot remove you're not allowed to remove the footer credits from this site we have to buy it so if you're doing this for for commercial purposes or you are doing this in a real project just to buy this template or if you are doing this just for learning okay you can apply this in learning but do not sell this e-commerce website or do not remove the footer from the templates okay I just downloaded the file here so I'll open the, the server is running okay I'll open the our project folder tutorials sorry Django Udemy okay, and this is the SRC I'll create a main templates folder here templates okay then I'll unzip this file just like this this is the template the template folder we have this about blog single blog contact menus reservation index and so on but first let's do this theme in the real life let's say preview Now we have this, the menu for our site, home, about us, our menu, plug, server table and contact and so on. And here we can move down, you can see some words about the restaurant, we can see some of our meals, the detail of the meal, the name of the meal, the price and so on. We can meet our chef, view menu and so on. This is some kind of menus. For breakfast, brunch, or dinner, and so on. Okay, you can open a menu and see more details about it. Okay, let's try again. Or we can open what is the menu? This is the menu. Let's open the menu, and this is our menu. There is no detail view. And this is kind of problem. Yeah, but we can make a detail view for this page actually. Okay, I'm gonna do this. First, we just downloaded the files and we unzip the file and we have here about plug sync, plug contact, index menus, and so on. Okay. First of all, we need the index file here. Copy this file. And came here. Paste this file here with the name of base. Okay. And the main file also contains all the menus. Okay. We need now to copy the CSS folders yeah image GS CSS fonts copy all this kind of files here to the static folder there is no folder name is static so we will create another one with the name of static and we will add a new folder here called site underscore static We will 
based this files here okay and now I think we we need another index copy in our meals app here in templates meals I'm gonna paste this file okay okay now let's open our code and here we have templates we have based HTML this is our main file okay first of all we need to connect all this CSS and, and JavaScript files or fonts files in our file using the static the Django static okay let's sort first of all this is a URL we need to add here the static like this static site underscore static slash CSS and here single yeah just like this okay we need to add this to all of our URLs so we can do this yeah we can take copy this and paste it here and add this and so on okay we need to add all this static to all of our files just like this do not worry we won't do this to all of our files because we will use template inheritance to make this process much more easier okay Okay, okay. Now we just added the static files for CSS or fonts files. We need to inherit this files in our some of this in our meals index. Yeah. Index page. Okay. We will call this page list and we will remove this list. So I'll delete this and I'll call this list. Just like this okay now if we refresh our page the list page because this page miss the CSS files okay now we need to inherit all this imports from our base file so in the base we will move down this is the nav bar we will leave it and this is quality delicious this is the end of the header like the end of this and we have our menu list with price okay we need to remove this and this this is the footer footer copyright and this is the gs files okay we will remove this and we will type here block this is a block of body and this is the end of this block okay and here in our list HTML we will remove all of these files and this is the footer let's remove all of this let's remove also the footer let's remove all of this and then now we will inherit all this all of this from our base file let's see extend base 
the HTML. Okay, then we will say lock body and we will take this block ending here. Let's save this and let's refresh our page. There is no based HTML, actually, there is, but we need to add this to our settings. The by file there is the settings. The by, yeah, this is, yeah, here the templates just like this let's refresh our page invalid block tag on line 10 so did you forget to load or register the stack okay now our base we need to add load static just to make Django load this files. Let's refresh. Here we are. Or assume that there is an error. The page is not opening. This is because of we did not uh, we did not import the JavaScript files. So let's move down in the base file and let's import this JavaScript files. Control Z. Let's take this copy yeah and here I'm gonna select this then I'll, con I'll brush control D no sorry and you're gonna choose this I'll press control D control D and so on okay just like this then I'll move to the end I'll press control V I'm just editing all of them at once and here I'm gonna press yeah just like this let's take this copy and paste all of all this code at the end of all of these lines to make javascript load in our page just like this and we need also to add this to this file and to this file also We just enabling Django to serve a set of files well in this page. So let's refresh again. The loading takes a lot of time, so let's inspect our page. There is a lot of errors. There is some missed images and there is content utility issues mean the GS. Yeah, these files are missed. So we need to import them. Let's open our static files. Okay, there is only one JS here, one JS here. Let's refresh the page. And we here, here we have all of our meals. As we can see, this is the navbar. The image is not loading, but we will load it. Do not worry. This is the menu, our menu here. And this is the home meals. We will remove some of these meals just to enable this menu and we have here the news and so on okay our page work perfectly okay now it is the time that we enable this also in the our detail view but first let's fix some errors in our list view first of all we need to enable the images so here we have this is the navbar and this is the site logo and here this is the footer here let's inspect
this this image games from CSS okay we need to fix this error we need to enable this image from the CSS file okay we will do this but I think this is enough for this video because it's, it's it became long so we will continue adding the templates to our project from in the next lecture